This is an example of a promo code. First, click on the name of the site you want to work on. Then click Modules. Scroll down and click on the e-commerce module. Then click on Global Discounts and Coupons. Scroll to the bottom and click on Add Coupon. You must add the coupon first and the discount afterwards. First, give your coupon a name. Do not put any spaces in the name of your coupon. Next, give your coupon a description if you wish. Checking this box will make it override global discounts. These are your usage conditions. Here you can set when it expires, Select any date from the drop-downs that is not yet passed. This area shows the times the coupon has been used and the times you will allow it to be used. This number represents the times it has been used. This is where you specify how many times it can be used. Is it unlimited or limited? You can set this in the drop-down. If you select limited, you need to enter a number in this box. How many times can they use this coupon? Click Save when you're done. You'll notice I've gone up and removed the spaces in my promo code. Now let's click Add Discount to add the discount for this coupon. Give your discount a name. Here you can set what order total this discount applies to. You can specify which buyers or which groups this discount will be for. You can also set it to apply this discount if particular items are purchased. This is the discount types area. If the discount will be a per order discount, you would want to put the dollar amount or the discount amount in the per order box and then select from the drop down. Here you'll see a 10% discount or a 20% discount. You can also change this to a dollar amount of a discount. By checking the box Show as a separate invoice item, this will become a separate item on the invoice. This is the per item discount. If you're going to give a discount per item, this is where you would put in the terms of this. This drop down is asking you to specify which items it would apply to. This is asking you what is it ranged by, quantity or cost? Is the per item discount by quantity or by cost? This one is asking you, is the per item discount mode a discount for dollar amount, a discount for percent amount, or is it a new price altogether? These boxes range in amount. Range is used if you're ranging your discount per item by cost, you would select a range. So for instance, between this dollar amount and this dollar amount, the discount is how much? Or between this dollar and this dollar amount, how much of a percent off are you going to give? That's what you would fill in in these boxes. You could also add ranges by clicking on this and filling in a number from the drop-down. You would want to add ranges if there were different discounts. For instance, between $1 and $10, the discount is 1%. A second range might be between 
$10.01 and $0.01 in $20, the discount might be 2%, and so on. Here you can specify what you want to do with different items. Do you want to count them separately or together? You could also offer a shipping discount as well. This volume discount area is used for buy one get one free type coupons. This area would be used if you were going to have a discount such as $5 off for every two items they buy and then you can choose which it applies to and you can choose how you want to count these items as well separately or together. Click Save when you're done.